I'm Mark Callan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Today's Mr. Saltwater Tank Reacts video is a first look at the Ecotech Marine Radeon G5. But before I get there, what the heck is with this tank behind me? Well, if you're not on social media or you're completely tuned down, I have broken down my 448 gallon tank. Why the heck would I do that? Why else would you break down a saltwater tank? Because I'm upgrading. I'm getting a 1,000 gallon saltwater tank. As I've always said, if you're going to upgrade, make it worth your time. So 450 gallons to 1,000 gallons, that seems worth it. Okay, so this tank is a temporary holding tank. I've got some of my fish in here, some of my corals. I know it's not pretty, bear with me, it will go away. So that's why I have that tank behind me. But as I said at the beginning of the show, this show is a first look at the brand new Ecotech Marine Radeon G5 fixture. The first thing that jumped out at me about the Radeon G5 is the arrangement of the LED diodes. Much different than previous generations. Check this out. G5 is here. Previous generations is here. Previous generation of Radeons had the puck type of arrangement. And now the G5 spreads out the LED diodes over a much wider area. This to me is an involvement of the product and of LED lighting overall. When LED lighting first came out, Everyone's first argument was, well, LEDs won't grow corals. And I just proved that when the first Radeon came out with the test on my 90 gallon tank. And over the many years since then, with plenty of people growing corals under LEDs, more specifically under the Radeons. Then everyone said, well, they don't put out enough light. So then Ecotech came out with the TIR lenses to help focus the light to get more light down into the tank. Then people said, I don't like that. And then they went to a diffused light. They wanted light more spread out and a softer light. So then diffusers came out for the Radeon. Now, following on the same trend, we have the G5, which spreads out the LEDs over a wider area. Now, if you still like the diffuser look, there is a diffuser for the G5. One of the nice things that the G5 has over previous generations is the diffuser just snaps on magnetically to the bottom of the G5 unit. You don't have to take this off. You don't have to take it apart. Magnets snap that diffuser right on. The spreading out of the LED diodes over a wider area with the G5 means that you're gonna have more even par readings and the early data suggests that. And it likely means that you're gonna have better spread on this unit as well. Something else that's new with the G5 is that it comes in two flavors. There's a G5 Pro and then there's a G5 Blue. And what's the difference? Well, it boils down to a spectrum of light and LED diodes. Ecotech Ecotech Marine says that the G5 Pro model has a lighting spectrum that's more reminiscent of metal halides. When LEDs first came out, it said the best thing that you can do is pick an LED fixture that has a spectrum that's very similar to halides because halides have been around forever. We know that these work. So if you're a halide person, you're thinking about going to LEDs, or if you like a whiter light, the Pro model is more for you. The G5 Blue model has a spectrum that's heavier on the blue end of the spectrum. Now this is more typical of Ecotech Marine's Coral Lab AB Plus program. This is for reefers who know what they like. They want a bluer light, especially your SPS heads. You really want to dial that thing in. The blue is going to be more on the way for you. Now, blue or the G5 Pro model, either one of those is going to get the job done. For me, if I have a client who's a more experienced reefer or if they're an SPS head, then I'm going to lean more towards the G5 Blue model. If I have someone who's just starting out or likes soft corals, LPS, or a wider light, then I'm going to go more towards the Pro model. Either model though, I have no doubts that they're gonna grow coral and make your coral look just fine. A big selling point of LEDs has always been their controllability. You can create custom lighting programs, you can vary the intensity, you can ramp it up, ramp it down, simulate clouds passing over or the sun rising, the sunset, moon lighting, all that is available with LEDs. And with the G5 Radeon, there's a big change in terms of controllability in that the Radeon G5 is only controllable through Ecotech Marine's Mobius app. The G5 will not work with the ReefLink and will not work with EcoSmart Live. For some of you, you're probably excited about that. The G5 will also not communicate with the WXM box from Neptune Systems for those of that use an Apex. We'll see if that changes in time. For the moment, the only way to control the G5 is with the Mobius app. Now I've been using the Mobius app in its beta mode and it's coming along nicely. It's still a beta, so it's got some kinks to work out. That's the point of a beta. The control is much improved over EcoSmart Live, and you don't need a reef link to provide a bridge to the internet. All the control is done right to the app and right through your phone. I've been using a reef link in EcoSmart Live for years. I had minimal issues with it, so part of me is sad to see it go. And things have to evolve. Ecotech has done a very good job of continuing to refine the Radeon, 
and they're on generation 5. Now it's time for the software to catch up to the power and the capabilities of the light. Mobius looks promising. I'll continue to fiddle with it and refine my opinion on it, but for now, it's nice to see an app standalone type of approach for controlling the Radeon. Overall, I like what I see with the Ecotech Marine G5 Pro model and with the blue model. And I've got a new build coming up, so I'm going to continue to look at the G5 as I get that build up and running. And it's good to see Ecotech continuing to refine their product. They're not sitting on their laurel saying, we know the Radeon works, why would we want to change anything? They're constantly refining it, which is a good thing to see. LEDs continue to be a fast changing part of the saltwater aquarium market. Seems like every day there's a new LED fixture out there and I always look at it and say, yeah, that might have some nice features, but where's the track record behind it? Prove to me that it works and prove to me that the company is actually going to be there. And a very important thing for me and my clients is prove to me that if something goes wrong, I can get on the phone and get support. I'm not emailing overseas, waiting for responses or waiting for a fixture to be sent overseas or, oh, we just sent in a bunch of them, but what the part that you need wasn't on that shipment. You have to wait for the next container. There isn't that with Ecotech Marine. They're based here in the United States. So that gives me a lot of confidence in Ecotech Marine and the G5 Radeon. I'm Mark Callan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.